as to where Arizona uh, stacks up in the grand scheme of things wow. in back. In basketball, sheer. I'm not uh, pull. I told you this was coming right here, so don't did get you, surprised. Did you did you make this, Mike? No, I can't possibly make <laughs> something like that. That was definitely a Jacob Franklin brainchild right there. All right, let's go with. All right, we'll have about this. We'll just go left to right right here. Baylor, top tier. Jason Shear, they won a national championship. You've had three number one seeds in the last six years. You used to hate Scott Drew. You now admit that you were wrong. Scott Drew is a leader of men. I go into tier one. Yeah, I don't think there's any question. It's it's tier one. All right. Bay, or excuse me, BYU now. We side with BYU over uh, Utah in the Holy War right now. Um, I am going to go BYU. I am going to put them in. I'm going to put them in tier four. What do you want? I, I would say tier four. They're not the worst of the conference, but they're, you know, they're average. We'll just, yes. let's, let's call them average. Let's call them average. Houston. Houston, a, a new child to all of this. Houston, I think, has got to go in tier one, Sheer. It feels weird to say it, but tier one for Sheer one? Yeah, it's a little tough because they're in a new conference and they're going from a conference that wasn't very good, but they're still a good team. So okay. I'll, I'll go tier one. Look at you just skipping over West Virginia. I got Oh, you sorry, West Virginia. Kirk Carissa, our guy. Um, Your guy. Uh, let's see here. Now, West Virginia right here. I am yeah, going to tricky. – What's that? That's a little tricky now. West Virginia is tricky. Um, overall, I believe that West Virginia is a Tier 2 program. It is a little bit different, though, now because you obviously lost Bob Huggins. You're in a little bit of a transition. Um, I am going to play it safe right here. And West Virginia fans, we have all the respect in the world for you, but I am going to put them in Tier 3. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm going to go Tier 2. I think they should be in Tier 2. All right. Okay. But I, get it. I, I, see, I think they should be in Tier 2 with the belief that, like like you mentioned, like Huggins is gone. We don't right. know what's going to happen without Huggins. So it very well could drop to Tier 3. Conservative Tier 3 is fine. I would probably go 2 if they had Huggins. So we'll, we'll see. All right, Jacob Franklin, put it at tier. Sheer, all right. I'm going to let Sheer have the uh, Sheer have the tiebreaker on this one. I get the next tiebreaker. All right, so there's tier two. Just a right, heads up, the, the, the Cincinnati logo, it's here. It just, uh, it's it no, blends in. So oh. the next one is technically Cincinnati. By the way, Jacob Franklin, I actually, Jacob Franklin, stay on the screen for a second. I had somebody ask who the great Jacob Franklin was yesterday when, or the day before when he came into the presser. And I told them that he was a basketball recruit. And the guy said, I figured he had to be invited with something with as tall as he was. Jakob Franklin from uh, Germany. I, like this. I can't just exist without playing athletics just because I'm tall. Oh, Jacob. But you know uh, what? Correct. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Jacob. Franklin. All right, Jacob. Thanks. Appreciate you, man. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Cincinnati. All right, Cincinnati's a weird one. You you were wrong on Wes Miller. I was right on Wes Miller. I like Wes Miller. I am I going to wrong. He hasn't done anything. How am I wrong? They won like 23 games last year or something I missed like it. How did they do in the tournament? I missed it. All right. I'm going to go Tier 3 right now, but I think they have the potential to reach Tier 2. What say you? I mean, I'm giving you the time breaker, but they're Tier 4. Tier 4? You're right there with BYU. What's the difference between Cincinnati and BYU? I am – well, Cincinnati, I think – all right. Over the next five years, you think the BYU and Cincinnati will have similar success? Is this what Jason Shear is saying? Yes. All right. Well, I'm going Tier 3. I think that's nonsense. I all think right. that's the tiebreaker. I'm just saying. And by the what way, BYU fans, keep in mind, I like you over Utah. I don't like Utah fans. They very much annoy me. All right. Iowa State. First of all, there's a lot of good Iowa State people out there. Mm -hmm. um, yes. Very, very impressed by – I've been on two Iowa State radio stations. I didn't uh, – um, also, our guy TJ did a pretty good job this past year at Iowa State here. Someone, a radio guy, Chris Williams, my guy over in Iowa State, sent me a bottle of whiskey for coming on his show. There's a story behind this. You're going to laugh. I'm going to say real quick. Uh, I said thank you right away. This is like a thing for his bigger guest that he does. He sent one to Stuart Mandel, and Stuart Mandel never said thank you. And so it's like a running well, joke. So that's why I tweeted thank you so much for the whiskey. Well, Stewart's had a lot of uh, – Stewart, uh, Stewart wasn't ahead of the curve on a lot of this reporting. This is another tough one, though. Iowa State's another tough one. Because Iowa State, if you look at it, Sheer, I mean, if you're in the top 25 last year, I mean – Yeah. 
I'm going to go tier three right now, but it would not surprise me if they move up a little bit. I agree with that. Let's go that. That's All right. We're going to go Iowa State tier three right there. Okay. Now, Kansas, tier five, they stink. <laughs> Ooh, I never heard of them. Yeah, I almost thought when we first when I first saw this, I almost thought about putting Kansas in the first tier and then starting with everybody else on the second. Right. By the way, Jacob Franklin, how how short do I have to keep this segment so that I can make it a clip or you I can, can make- you can take this as long as you the ASU ones were probably twenty minutes on football and twenty minutes on basketball. But I can turn but this into a clip. list is so different than theirs. They did exactly what Shear said. They put Kansas at the top. And nobody else even touched the top tier. Can I? Well, I can't. I got to put a team that just won a national title the last. In the and last that's fair. You have your. That's fine. I'm good with that. I'm just. It's funny to watch because I produced that show for them as well, and their their list was very very different. What is the What is the time period I have to keep this this under so that I can turn this around into a uh, uh, turn this? I around. want to go viral. That's what he's saying, Jacob. Doesn't matter. All right. Cool. All right. We're against no time to, uh, time constraints. You know what I'm saying? Like you could. I get what the ASU guys do. Kansas belongs on its own tier. I agree, but I have a hard time not putting Baylor in there at that point because Baylor has now emerged as a top 10 program. I realize, but we're talking Kansas basketball here. All right, fair enough. Do you want to move Baylor down to West Virginia? No, it it would be everyone would move down. Move that. Jacob knows what I'm saying. Yeah, this. This is what I'm saying. There's an elite. Here. I'm, and that I'm going Kansas game. tier. All right. Yes, Kansas has its own tier. How about yes. that? Yes, this is what I'm talking. There you go, Jacob. Jacob, that was a great audible right there. We appreciate you. Leader of men. Kansas State. I like Kansas State a great deal. I am, I'm, I'm bullish on what they're doing and what they're doing going forward. I am going to put them in that tier with West Virginia right there. I like Jerome Tang. I like how he builds his program. I like the players he brought in. I'm putting them in with West Virginia, and I think they have a better upside than West Virginia. Yeah, I would agree with that. You, they're not as good as Baylor and Houston, but, I mean, they could reach that tier. I'm curious what happens with without George and Noel and, and how Tang I, – I like Jerome Tang a lot, but right now they're on tier three. Okay, Oklahoma State. They got rid of your guy Travis Ford, who you thought was an amazing coach that we uh, admired his mediocrity from afar. It's weird to say this, but I'm going to put them with BYU. I don't, I don't envision Oklahoma State being very good for a while. Nah, me neither. I mean, look, if you're not good with Kate Cunningham, what are you going to be good with? True. All right. Now TCU. Jamie Dixon has done a very, very good job there. I think they're squarely in that Kansas State realm right there, Sheer. I would agree with that. Right. Us. Dude, we're doing good. All right. Texas Tech. Obviously, <laughs> the Texas Tech offseason has been uh, uh, one, one above there, Jacob Franklin. Keep going. Keep going. There you go. There you go. All right. Um, Texas Tech. Um, well, you had to get rid of Mark Adams. Um, <laughs> that would talk about a mess right there. Uh, you, you are five years removed from being in the national title game, though which counts a lot for me. I am going to put them in that Cincinnati, Iowa state realm right there. Sheer. I would agree with that. I think they're probably closer to three than five though. I like okay. them asking a lot. They're going to be one of those teams that they're not going to score a lot at all, but they're going to be really good defensively. Um, and it, it wouldn't surprise me if they were kind of, they kind of moved. And I heard that I, again, this is one of these new big 12 experiences that basketball games at tech are insane. Right. For sure. Okay. UCF, I think they're at the bottom tier. I like UCF fans. I am, I'm more bullish on your football than I am your basketball. But Johnny Dawkins stinks. We've watched Johnny Dawkins. And in a major conference and in the best conference in college basketball, I think that they are going to struggle mightily. I put them at the bottom tier. Yeah, uh, there's no question. Right. Okay. Colorado, your guy, Tad Boyle. By the way, over or under uh, Colorado getting a seven seed this year, Sheer. Uh, I think they can get a seven. I think your your post that you had was a little crazy. All I said is yeah. I'm buying them. Yeah, buying them for what? Like a seven seed? Is that buying them? I think they're a fringe top 25 team. I don't. Well, you just said no you doubt. thought they could be a seven seed. That's a fringe top 25 team, sure. Uh, is it? Well, then no. Eight seed, nine seed. All right. I am putting Colorado. I'm putting Col- – I- it's, I know it's between it's between the Cincinnati and the BYU tier, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, I put them closer to BYU than I would right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I put With Colorado upside. in there as well. BYU, 
Although I do think they are clearly better than BYU and Oklahoma State right now. That's fair. But they're in there. Sorry, you guys are the uh, – you're the – well, whatever. I'll get in trouble for saying that. <laughs> that. Okay. Now, we've got uh, – all right, what do we got? Oh, Utah. I think Utah uh, – I think Utah is going to really struggle in basketball in this conference. Um, I do like – I do like the coach, though. I have no one in mind here. I'm just warning you. Are you really going to put Utah below BYU? Do you understand what you would be starting? Yeah, I know. I'm going to put them in that second to last realm right there. There, there you go. There Utah. we go. All right. ASU, they're going to be last. ASU. Gonna, I, I, I want to give myself credit here for making this point. ASU is last. If I'm, and I think you agree with this, if I'm Bobby Hurley, this is my last year at ASU if I can help it. I am gone out of right. this conference before I join the Big 12. I want nothing to do with this. Jacob Franklin, where did the ASU guys put ASU, by the way? Did they have them at, like, level two? They put them a tier above D, so they were in the C tier. Wow. Yeah, they, I, I UCF was, they made the, I mean, you have to remember, they although it was a playing game, they did make the tournament, so it is hard to put them down in the worst tier. No, it's no, not. I just did it. Part of it. Yeah, we just did it. It was really easy. Jacob, it was super easy. You just clicked and you dragged it over. I think there's some bias in that, but I'm just going to. All right. <laughs> All right, Jacob, you're dismissed. All right, now uh, Arizona uh, squarely with uh, squarely yeah. with Baylor, Houston. Um, so I think I think that's a pretty that's good list right there, Jason Shear. We did an absolutely fan. I don't think anyone on Twitter will disagree with us. Not one person.